Well, howdy everybody. Good morning. If you're here, uh, where you're watching from, let me know where you're watching. Today is a really unique, I don't know what to do without my necklace. I don't have my necklace today. A unique uh, conversation I'm having with Johan Erb about masculinity and sort of our North Star and what it is to be a man. Some of the struggles, some of the things that men uh, actually uh, deal with that you may not have thought of. Johan is a breath work. Uh, he created the um, a really unique breathing technique called um, pyramid breath, but he's also, here he comes, Johan's also Fresno Freedom Alchemist is here. Awesome. Uh, hello, Lexi. Hey. 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 <laughs> What's up, buddy? How are you, man? Good to see you. You too. You too, man. I decided to wear a hat, like actually get like kind of dressed up because I, I knew that you're always like outclassing me. You know, you're always dressing so nice and you're so stylish. You got your chest out. I'm nice. You know, you can see your, yeah, I was just, you can see those pecs. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show up for this one. You I gotta, gotta wear, wear your my hat. Like, your hat. My uh, Ibiza gear, you know? Yeah, you're in Ibiza. Yeah. How's that all going, man? You know? Uh, honestly, it's a little colder than I would wish right now. I'm drinking my uh, I'm drinking my ginger tea here, mm. and I'm like, wow, it's 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 definitely colder than than Topanga this time of year. So it's a bit of an adjustment. You know, I'm not a big fan of um, cold weather. I still have some PTSD from Finland, but uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's it's not it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I just my 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 physical body lately has been going through some some stuff what you, um and what, so I think I'm, I, you know I, I caught some sort of a, a little virus or a cold or something and and then you know when your whole skin gets everything gets sensitive and and uh it was only a couple of day thing but then it, you get really sensitive to, to weather as you kind of rebound and come back from that um but i feel a lot better now but you know i'm still wearing a nice sweater in this beautiful finca um and uh getting cozy with my hot tea yeah yeah man and you got you guys are on land that used to be osho's right yeah well it didn't used to be osho's but there wasn't like a community. osho community that was living here which is wild because um i mean what a lineage what a story yeah. and you know there's so many stories around that but i think as you know for me spirituality has been a, and continues to be such a big part of my life and to to live in a place or land in a place kind of blindly because we didn't even see this place before we took it and to yeah. know that this has held yeah. uh, a community of people that have been very committed to their spiritual practice yeah. is yeah. really really cool and to me just the divine saying hey you're in the right place at the right time you know and uh there's certainly been a lot a lot of incredible magical things that have happened here um and i'm just very grateful to be here great well if you're just joining johan johan is a breathwork teacher we're gonna actually do some breath work so if you're just joining us um I hope oh. I, i'm not just throwing you into that johan if we could do just a taste of your pyramid breath and then i do want to talk a little bit about you talk about in authentic relating how to cultivate practices that make you an unshakable unstoppable and masculine force creating visceral spaciousness in your being to hold the magnitude of your real genius of a man and i feel like we're in a real time where being a man is not necessarily celebrated like it's almost like we have to apologize for being men in some ways because there's a lot of there's a lot of uh toxic masculinity conversations out there and i think there's a there's a real i think attack on what it is to be a real man or at least to celebrate and they, like you you feel like you're being chauvinistic if you're proud to be a man and yeah. so i sort of want to dive into that without being too divisive because that's not that's not what my channel's ever about but i do still like to bridge these conversations a little bit but uh, like, shake wait there this is yeah this is a shake weight now, this is my <laughs> this is this is my coffee <laughs> um so if you uh does doing a short little uh pyramid practice sound like fun for you before we crack into something we can yeah i mean 
Uh, absolutely, guys. If you're watching this right now and you want to experience uh, a really quick and fun state change, which means that you're gonna be, you're feeling one way now, you're gonna feel better after. Let's just do like a, let's say, a two minute practice. So we keep it really sweet and short. Um, and and what I, this is one of the things I love about Pure My Breath is I have a lot of clients that are really busy and you know, they have families, they're running companies, or they're just doers out in the world. And, uh, and they love this practice because they can get it done in such a short amount of time. You can obviously do it for longer too when you have the time, which I highly recommend. However, you can just do it in, in, in two minutes. So that's what we're going to do today. So basically, please do not do this if you are driving a vehicle, if you're in or around water, um, you might get a little dizzy. So, and, and the other thing we'll be doing is, is preferably you'll have your eyes closed because really, um, because there's no more Paul Green, first of all, we just see a chair, beautiful chair. Um, but no, seriously. Uh, why we want to keep our eyes closed is because uh, we're, we're usually overloaded with the outside world. Like there's so much going on all the time. So it's sensory overload, right? And, and we're usually also not thinking about what's happening right now because we're worried about what happened in the past or worried about what's going to happen in the future. And so there's a fair amount of anxiety. So when we close our eyes, we actually get to go into the inner world and into the body, which is always present. The body has no choice. The body can't be in the past or can't be in the future. So the body really is our gateway to the present moment. So once again, please make sure you're safe before we start this practice. And I always like to begin with an intention. What's your why? So even for this, two sh this, this short two minute practice, let's pick an intention. Is it more freedom, more love, more joy, more connection, more safety, more playfulness, more abundance? Pick something or pick a couple of things as we close our eyes and as we get started. So as you have your eyes closed, just know that in a moment we'll be taking deep breaths in and out through the mouth. If it feels good to you to undulate your spine as we breathe, so as in your inhale, you just kind of flex your spine, bring your chin up, do that. If not, just keep your spine neutral. But you want to take deep breaths in and do some sounding exhales out. So as our eyes are closed right now, turn your gaze inwards. Just take notice, witness what's happening in that inner world. Take your senses away from the outer world into the inner world. This is where we can make change. This is our circle of control and circle of influence. Just noticing right now, witnessing, observing, not judging, just observing what's going on. Maybe a part of us feels anxious or scared or stressed out or whatever else that's occurring. Just, just witness it, notice it. And now let's add a gentle smile to our face. Just no notice what happens in your body when you do that. Or maybe it's a big smile, maybe it's a little giggle even. <laughs> Just notice how the body relaxes even more. It's just this little act of kindness towards ourselves, a smile. Beautiful, my friends. Let's keep those eyes closed. Get connected with that inner world, that inner magic, inner power. And now follow my rhythm as we breathe in and out through the mouth. If you want to undulate your spine as you breathe in and out, do so. If not, just take deep, slow breaths in and out with me. Let's go. Breathe in and exhale. Deep breath. Exhale. Really see if you can activate your sound. It's a somatic release. Two, one, deep breath in, hold it full. Beautiful. Now bring your chin up and arch your back slightly as you hold that breath full. Keep that smile on your face right now. And take your awareness to the heart center as you hold the breath full. If you get a little tingly, it's okay. Just hold the breath a little bit longer here. We're allowing the energy to move into different parts of our body and our system. 
And now exhaling with a big sound, sigh, ah, ah, Beautiful, we'll do that one more time, guys. Keep those eyes closed. You might already feel much more relaxed than before. This will get even better, let's breathe. In, ah, and out. Ah. 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 Keep breathing just in the center. Ah. Ah. Now think about what's ah. standing between you ah. Ah. and your freedom. Ah. Ah. Between you and more ah. love. Between you and more ah. abundance. Ah. Is it fear? Is it a belief I'm not good enough? I'm not smart enough, I'm not old enough, young enough, wealthy enough, this enough, that enough. Breathe right into it. Ha. 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 Activate that ha. pain point. Activate that part of you ha. that feels resistant. Breathe into ha. it. Ha. 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 Bring it forward. Ha. 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 Ah, nice. Keep going a little bit longer. Ah. In a moment, not yet, but in a moment. We'll take a deep ah. breath in, and then we would release this ah. energy ah. Ah. out of our body. Ah. 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 Three, ah. two, one. Ah. Deep breath in. Now bring your arms out to the sides. Hold the breath full. Chin is up. The back is arched. The smile on your face. Not yet, but in a moment, my friends, we will shake and shout and let this energy go. Are you ready? Top off the breath and let's shake it out now. That is some gibberish. It's a little weird right now. But... <laughs> yeah, nice. Good job. Beautiful. All right, perfect. And now let's take one more deep breath in. Hold the full. Bring those arms out to the sides. Just hold in the breath, breath full. Big smile in the face. Keep holding the breath. Take your awareness to the heart center now. Expanding, opening, pulsating with energy, with love, with divine love. Radiating, radiating out in all directions. And exhaling. Keeping the eyes closed, dropping the arms. Ah. Keep the eyes closed just a little bit more here. Just taking notice on how you feel right now. You feel more light, more playful, more free, more relaxed. Perhaps you feel a buzz running through your body, a buzz of energy. And now in a moment, now not yet, but in a moment, when we open our eyes, bring this energy with you, this internal light, this internal love, this internal joy, so that you see it all around you as well. You see the world through a different lens. Because it's always in the eye of the beholder, my friends. We are the source of the stories that we create, the way that we see the world, ourselves, each other, the situations. As we bring those eyes open, bring that smile back to your face, come back into the space. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, man. Talk about a talk about a state change. Let a state change. You know what's what's so powerful about changing your having a tool like this to change your state is it changes what you're focusing on. So like one of my intentions of doing this with you is obviously you have a, a really awesome program coming up and I want to dip into that a little bit later. But if a guy stumbles upon this live, because I want to share it on my other platforms a little bit later, I want them to have a few tools because suicide with men, men feel hopeless, man. Like men feel, you know, I work a lot with army vets. Uh, at least my last two projects have been really connected to that. And there's 22 veterans that commit suicide every day 22 and that's just like that's just veterans just imagine how many men and like men the number of men that commit suicide is so much higher than um than the number of women it take like it's not and so there's a serious mental health thing going on with 
you know, inside of men and what it like, it's a really confusing time, I think. Um, there's, for so men much, there's so much talk of toxic masculinity. There's so much of sort of, you know, tearing this toxic masculinity down, which, which I agree with. There are aspects of masculinity that have been quote unquote toxic. However, you know, we're, we're not, we're not building these men up in a in a in a in a different way so it's like everything masculine right now can seem really wrong bad but really i think women also are really coming into the understanding of like wait this is not working we don't want men that are disempowered we don't want men that feel ashamed of being a man right it's 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 rewriting the narrative and and sometimes sadly you know, in life, in order for something to change, in a way, it needs to die, wither away. And there's this period right now that we find ourselves in that, that there's a lot of confusion. And this is, again, I find where we can be really, really helpful in being the embodiments, what I believe are very empowered uh, masculinity, you and I. Uh, and, and, you know, we come from very sort of different backgrounds that yeah. have gone through some serial tr serious trials and kind of found our way to the same place. And, 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 you know, I think for both of us in different ways, we at, at one point were very disempowered and, or, you know, we were puffing up or sh shrinking or, or, you know, not trusting ourselves and, 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 this is not really taught right now in the world in a way that, it, that men can just do this. And so that's why there's so much of this confusion and, uh, uh, and pain and shame. And, you know, all men want is to be like loved and appreciated. We'll do anything. Yeah. Like if, if somebody appreciates us, we'll go like not an extra mile, like a hundred extra miles, you know, we, we, you know, there's this interesting book by um, Omar Pani called Pre Prerequisites to Ecstasy. And he talks about this green light, red light that men have in their chest. And it's like, if you can like, put the green light on, the men will do anything. And so much of it will come from just acknowledgement and appreciation. And again, how can you acknowledge someone who is quote unquote, in quote unquote toxic behavior and they're, they're angry, they, they don't know how to communicate, they're withdrawn, you know, they're, they're shut down, they refuse to meet you, to connect with you, they drink too much, they use drugs, whatever, yeah. like there's so many things. And that's why we're having this conversation today is really how can we change the masculinity and femininity combined in a way that that we can really come together and celebrate each other and hold each other and that's again why i'm so proud of the container that rachel and i are holding for so many of our private clients as well as now for this bigger group because we we get to hold it together as a masculine and feminine and really like change the narrative change the story because the story is in yeah. here you know and and when we change it like just like in our practice everything changes right our perspective changes right. we change and i love what i love about breath work and this and this style of breath work you meant you touched on somatic for a moment is like very rarely do like if an animal is chased by a tiger it, or like say a, a, a deer is chased by a lion if it escapes it shakes it'll like it won't it'll like it'll go blah, like this and you'll see it just like trembling but it's getting out all the lactic acid, all the cortisol, all the stress hormones. But as us humans, we just bottle that stuff in. And like, we have these fake, we don't really have a tiger chasing us, but we have like, we have the, you turn on the news, there's, there's so much intense negative pressure coming at you that your body doesn't know the difference of a real tiger or a fake tiger. And we, now we have, we have all these other threats, whether it's World War Three or, you know, or viruses or the news or whatever. And so I love one thing I love about this practice is in the somatic part, what you were talking about is we don't really get to shake or yell or scream without being looked at like that guy needs to be locked up yet. It's, it's, it's just another part of us that we get to sort of, it's just, it's, it's like our voice in a way, like my son, who's two, he'll lay on the, on his back and just be like, blah, blah, like, and he's just like, we'll roll. And he, that's, he's fully, and at night.
I think I see him, he just runs in a circle to get all the last bit of energy out before he sleeps. Like, it's just awesome. Yeah. But as we get older, it feels like we just push it down. And this practice, this breath work, um, like in, in one of your parts of your course, you talk about authentic relating. So learning how to cultivate practices and breath work is obviously one of the practices yeah. that make you an unshakable, unstoppable masculine force. Mm -hmm. You get to create visceral spaciousness in your being to hold the magnitude of your real genius as a man. Can you just talk about that a yeah. little bit? Absolutely. Thanks for asking. You know, for me, and you've known me a long time and uh um, we should we should you know, I, share we should share how far we go back. <laughs> we go back a long time. We go back what 1995 maybe yeah. 6 something like that like a long time. Yeah, we a good yeah. long while. Yeah. Yeah, and so, so, you know, Paul's seen and I've seen, uh, uh, you know, we've seen very different versions of each other and we've held also each other through some very big transformations. And Paul, truly, brother, you have held me through one of my most challenging moments of my life. And I'm so deeply, profoundly grateful for your courage, for your willingness, the way that you showed up for me as a brother. And, uh, you know, I, I hope and wish that upon everyone and even though it's very painful and hard and difficult it literally ch changed my life yeah and uh and and so we can get into that a bit later it's also there's a podcast with paul and i where we talk about that as yeah. well um but uh, to answer your question the what we don't realize often and what we're not taught is that everything happens from inside out everything happens from inside out we're Oftentimes we're waiting for things to happen from outside in. And so until we make that change as men, that we learn how to shift our state, to shift our narrative, to shift our story, to shift the way that we show up. And the, the communication part, and this is where a lot of the practices, the visceral practices come in. So you can actually physically, like you just said, our body only knows what the brain tells it. So if the brain is telling the body, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm a toxic masculine. There's danger, 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 tiger, war, everything out there. There's women out there that hate me. Or, you know, there's, it's, I, it's just dangerous and bad. You know, what is the body going to do? The body is going to be in a stress response, in a trauma response the whole time. And it's, it'd be very, very lucky for you if somebody's going to come and save you from outside in. That's very rare. And that's why we're seeing this huge amount of suicides and, and you know, depression and mental health stuff in the world. It's how can we create a practice that we are committed to, that we can change our state from inside out. Even if nothing in the outside world changes, this is our circle of influence and control right here, right here. The wars, the things things like that's out, out outside of our circle of influence and we're putting so much energy there because when we focus on our circle of influence and control we can begin that change and because everything is energy this is scientifically proven and i'm not talking some woo woo stuff here you literally begin to attract different type of energy to you and to different people the way that people relate to you the way that you occur to them begins to change. People begin to maybe trust you more, want to be around you more. And, and again, this is where the communication part now comes in. I, and Paul knows this, I did not know how to communicate. And, you know, I would, anytime a situation would get too intimate, there was too much love, and this is all like stems from my childhood, my culture growing up in Finland and, you know, Soviet Union and like just, I would get so uncomfortable that I would make a dumb joke or I would do something that would literally make the intimacy less. And, and it would, people will feel like stabbed or hurt or, you know, uncomfortable. And that's when I would feel more comfortable because I was feeling too much intimacy. And I didn't know this at the time, right. but that's, that's, you know, and, and, or if Paul was, cause Paul's such a happy guy and he would be so excited about something. And I would find a way to make fun of that in a way that is, is like beautiful balloon, which is like, you know. And in time, Paul got really good at actually getting back to me and, and me 
beginning, it was challenging with me. <laughs> I'm so grateful. You know, I've learned so much through through Paul as well as my wife and, you know, our teachers and various lineages of just in learning about communication. Um, and, um, and so when we don't know how to express ourselves, when we, first of all, we don't know how to take responsibility for ourselves and then express and say, hey, a part of me is really scared right now. Or the story I'm making up is that if I say this thing, you're going to leave me or, and love me and we're going to lose connection, right? I didn't know how to say any of this stuff. Right. I didn't know how, you know, I was all up here. I was literally completely disconnected from my body. And, and you know, I would say that my lower region of like, you know, sexual energy was super active and my brain was super active, but everything in between was very disconnected. And so that makes me a what? It doesn't make me an um, integrated, trustable man that people can feel safe around. Right. And so right. And that's the thing that, that guys are really suffering from, because it's like, if you don't have the tools to be fully expressed, yeah. you, you, know, you might get shamed that, oh, you're being weak or you're wuss or, you know, uh, and then if you're, if you're kind of puffing up, they're like, whoa, that's toxic masculinity. Like, yeah. right. you know, like, where is that middle ground of truth? Because right. that, that's the thing that we're really afraid of speaking to is like, what's actually going on? That's the scariest, scariest thing to say, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's vulnerability and authenticity. And, yeah. and it's, there's a, there's a skill set to it, how to say it in a way that makes you feel safe, the other person feels safe, so they're, they're not in a trauma response and won't just lash out at you. How can you calm both of the people's nervous yeah. systems down right. so you can actually create connection through that very difficult moment? Right. And it, it seems, do you think it's possible to do it alone? It's like, it, it's, it's almost, this seems like something you need mirrors, whether it's your romantic partner or brothers or a series of your romantic partners, friends, or brothers like you, or like a yeah. circle like this, this North Star that yeah. you're creating. And, and we'll talk about that in a moment here, but Absolutely. how else do you- can't, We can't see our blind spots. I mean, right. that's, the, that's the problem. That's why we need each other. Yeah. We cannot see our blind spots. We only, you know, how we interpret who we are is basically the reflections that we get, right? And the stories that we make up about it. Like there's so much of us that we don't see until somebody reflects it to me. And thank you again, brother, because you've done that for me many times. And oftentimes I wouldn't even hear it. I'd be like, that's you, that's not me. You know, that was my go-to and I would make it about the other person. So the guy's like, I've been there. Like I had been that guy who's refusing to take any sort of constructive feedback. And, and you know, and and really like did not know how to process it, how to express myself, yeah. you know, and I'm so grateful for the folks that hung in there, like you, yeah. brother. And it's, it's, you know, I have, and I also have immense compassion. It makes me emotional when I think about it. Like so much of us have some sort of trauma from our childhood, you know, that causes us to act in this way. And most of us, 99.9% .9 of us do not get an education in this. Right. This is not what we learn in school. Right. It's so, so silly. Like, let's change that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't learn any of the, <laughs> any of those, those communication skills or, or finance skills. We learn like long algebra, but how amazing if we taught just like, what is, what is it to, like, what is communication? Like, how do you actually communicate? Or how do you, how do you actually solve a, a breakdown of communication. Like imagine that skill taught to a young person. Let's say you can't communicate to your parents. How do you bridge that gap? Like imagine like what a valuable tool you would be at like such a self-expressed. Yeah, and we're also, we're also taught in school to compete instead of to collaborate. Right. Which is the craziest thing. It's like, you know, we're all, we're, instead of the school, like, like classroom working together to solve a problem. Yeah. We're each individually like trying to solve it on our own. And, and, and from a very young age, we're taught that, you know, you can't trust people or, you, you know, it's not okay or good to collaborate, like just compete. So that's why too, so many men have this like lone wolf, I gotta do it by myself. 
I can't trust anybody. Right. You know, I can't, nobody wants to hear about my problems. Like, I right, gotta- Right, because then that's weak. That's weak or feminine that's or That's weakness. Something. Instead yeah. of like collaborating, you know, finding a group of men or a men's group, friends group, yeah. you know, and, and again, like, it only takes one bad experience. We're, we have a five to one negativity bias. So it's like, if we, f we tend to focus on that, we have five amazing things that happen you know, and people, five people going like, you're amazing. And one person goes like, no, you suck. Guess what five, we're going to remember? Five, we're going to remember five, that, that one, it seems, right? Oh, it, seems higher. it seems higher. I can have a million great comments on a post. And then there's one person that's like, don't quit your day job. It's like, wait, what? The, yeah. the, the one out of like, it's see, my, my bias is more than five to one. And mine's probably like 50 to one. <laughs> I mean, 50. That's, that's probably more like, especially now in today's world when we have social media, and I'm so glad we didn't grow up with it. Like the pressure was so yeah. much less because especially as an adolescent, like you do so, you, you're so tribal, like you want to belong so hard, you know, and that the, the, and kids' brains are, aren't evolved enough to, like, I didn't feel, responsible for something until my 30s i think you know it's like i'm i'm a real late bloomer right. so it's 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 like we can be so cruel yeah we can be so and you know and it's all like the couch cruelty where it's like you feel like you know safe to 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 be cruel too because it's like you're anonymous so to say but it's it's and you know and there's that good old saying um i want i don't want to mess this up now but it's like what is it about people in pain are the ones that are are, are causing pain what what is it what's, yeah, do you know hurt what I'm people, talking about? hurt people hurt, hurt people people hurt yeah. people that's what and it is i've been on the precipice of a cliff several times on twitter where somebody will comment on something or say something and i'll i'll have written this thing back that's like super smart super bitey super like ha i got you and then i'm just like why am i gonna send this i've been on that cliff so many times where i'm like this is not going to add value. It's going to start a, like a troll war. And like, why would I have that out there forever that I'm, that I've reduced myself to just trying to be right. And so I have to give up my right to be right many times on Twitter where someone will say something, I'll be like, da, 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 da. and I just, it's almost like cathartic to write it though. And I never, I never said it. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, talking about being right, I remember, you know, how important that was for me. And again, I, you were there, you know, when I really saw that maybe I think for the first time ever, you know, and, and, and then one of our, you know, great teachers, Kathy really helped us understand this, you know, you can be right, or you can be in discovery, you can be in the knowing, or you can be in discovery, like, which one do you want to be in? Mm -hmm. And I use this so much in my teachings and I, I, I do my best to live by this because when you can be just curious and open-minded about something instead of needing to be right, my gosh, you know, and that's the thing you just talked about. It's like, why would you waste your energy going down a rabbit hole? We have, I think we're old enough now to realize that we don't have limited, unlimited amount of years left on this planet, right? Each day, it goes faster and faster and faster so how you spend your time becomes where you f focus your energy becomes yeah. more and more yeah. precious you know are you on purpose are you giving your gift are you what is what is your legacy like you know and something that we talked about um a couple of lives ago my uh dear friend patrick he said this really cool quote which is your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. Ooh. And, and going back to that moment with you, Paul, and you know, Paul basically recorded a conversation between our teacher and him about me. So basically I got to hear what my brand is. Yeah. And then he handed me the recording and I did not like what my brand was mm. at all. Mm. You know, and that was literally one of the biggest breakthrough moments of my life. When I heard what my brand was versus what I thought it was, they were light years apart, you know? And, 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 and it's so, so good to understand that, like your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. And I would, I'm pretty confident in today's world, in this timeline, that people are saying really good things about me and really good things about you when we're not in the room. Right. Um, because we don't have, 
we don't try to prove ourselves. We don't need to be right. You know, we're, I would say that we're, we both have a deep spiritual practice. We feel very embodied. You know, we're in loving relationships. We love to give love. We love to help people. We love to, to share and also learn. Like we're, part of being in discovery is that you're always learning. You're a forever student, no matter how smart or successful or fulfilled you are. The universe is literally infinite in that direction and in this direction. Sure. So it's like, the more you, re the more you understand that, the, the more you understand how little you actually know. Yeah. And it's beautiful. And all of these tools that you're talking about, like what we're talking about is giving up your right to be right. These are, these are some of the tools in the authentic relating, right? These are, how do you cultivate some of these practices that make you unshakable and unstoppable masculine force, creating visceral spaciousness in your being to hold the magnitude of your real genius of a man. I keep reading it because I actually like, I like the way that it makes me feel when I read that. Like there's, it's it, that, and you have the next one is self mastery and sexual mastery, which I don't think we have time to get into today. But I want to point everyone to your North Star so they can actually have a, it'll be in it's actually in your first on Johan's link tree. So follow Johan, and then in his link tree, it's the first link. Uh, he has a program coming up on the eleventh, right? No. Yeah, yeah. and it's that. only it really on the, uh, the it's only two more days to sign up for it. So okay. if this is interesting to you guys. I guarantee you it's be a life-changing experience. And, and again, what I love about this program so much is it's not just me. It's me and my amazing wife who has shaped me so much to become the man that I am today. Mm -hmm. And so there'll be moments where just, and this is only for men, uh, this program. And so you'll be held by just the masculine as well as the feminine and masculine together. And there's no shaming, there's no blaming, there's no guilting. There's literally line spot mirroring in a kindness of ways because we're learning how to communicate and how to accept ourselves and how to reveal ourselves in a safe space and safe container so we can find our genius. Yeah. So we don't feel ashamed about who we are. And oftentimes, we're in, whether we're in relationships or we're in jobs, we're in dynamics, uh, because we don't feel like we're good enough or we don't feel like we can do better, you know, especially in a job situation, I'm, I'm saying. But we're, we're, maybe we're in a dynamic with a person where we feel hurt constantly or we feel shamed constantly or we feel... And so it's, it's, you're spiraling in place or worse, you're spiraling down. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be that way. And again, the change happens from inside out, now, not outside in. And it's so powerful when we get to together, learn these tools and practices so they become who you are. Yeah. It's not rocket science. It's, it's so simple and, and we're so excited. And everything that we teach is everything that we practice. Right. And you know, I've been the most stuck, the most friggin' Eastern European like shut off dude on the planet. And I would say that I'm, I'm almost the, I, I wouldn't know the opposite of that, but I would say that I've been able to really work with those energies yeah. and, yeah. and alchemize them into my gift that I give that's to the right. world now. You right. know? And that's, that's, that's the genius, right? Yeah. Is how do you take all those, all that trauma, that pain, those disempowering beliefs and ideas and and stories that you're holding and carrying, a lot of them also unconsciously, and then turn that into your gift, into your genius, where you get to serve the world with that. That to me is, is that visceral change into your genius where you know you're giving your gift in this world. You know you're on purpose. It's not efforting. Being in our genius is not efforting. You're not having to work hard, going to a job you hate just to make money you're doing with something you love and you're passionate about is yeah. honestly one of the best feelings on this planet that I'm aware of. Yeah. I, I love use the words alchemy, which is the, I just finished the alchemist again. And one of the things that, you know, your past and your story and your shadow, being able to integrate that, not shame it, not shut it down, but just to be like all these parts of us have served us in some way. And so to survive at some point. Yeah. yeah. And, and so to integrate your shadow 
and to then you be actually become a force of nature rather than being ashamed of who you once were. You don't have to be that identity forever. You can like create a new one yeah. and you can, you know, and, and I do find one of the things that breath work at this level, like in Johan gave us a taste at the beginning of here of a little bit of his breath work, but it goes, and then there's a creation meditation at the end. Um, what I love about is is the massive state change the super alkalining and oxygenating your body and just a chance to uh to to almost like break free of the stories that we made up about who we are we need practices like that that's why cold plunges are so great like intense runs or cold ocean swims or saunas some of these some any state change like that is going to give you a chance to kind of disassociate for a moment with your made up identity to then just be like okay now I can create something yeah. like powerful and right. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, and I, I think that we, so many of us are stuck. You know, we, we fight for our problems. We, f which means we fight for our identity. You know, and again, like that was me. I fought so hard for my identity, and you're literally fighting to keep those traumas and things in place because that's how we like associate to ourselves and each other. And, 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 and it's, it's incredible when there are practices that are available where you get to shake it out, dismantle it, and then put it back together in a different way. So you don't just like get, you know, like all shook up, but you actually get to put yourself together in a new way. Each single moment, moment to moment, is an opportunity for us to change who we yeah. are. And that doesn't mean we have to, but we get to if we'd like to, because why not be ever evolving? Why not get better and better forever and ever? Why not just have so much fun while you're doing it? Why not be forever in discovery instead of being stuck or being the knowing or be rigid, which I think a lot of the masculine tends to be. Again, that was me. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you guys will talk about some of the relating with masculine feminine do you guys talk about some of the polarity in your program too yeah absolutely and that's yeah. where rachel really is is so magnificent and and holding that space for the masculine i've seen her work with men you know before and we work with men before and it's it's just so incredible to see what a, a loving feminine reflection that isn't shaming that isn't uh, uh blaming or guilting does to a man and, and same from another man, you know? And, and so we're gonna team men up with each other as well to work with yeah. each other uh, and, and do these exercises that are so profound. Like we have so many wounds and things that we don't even know about. And then how can we make this process fun and beautiful and meaningful? And also how can we bring these tools into our lives? And so they become who we are, yeah. right? And yeah. we are. We are the thoughts we think of ourselves. And so if we can change the thoughts, the stories that we tell ourselves yeah. about ourselves. Yeah. And so when we can change those stories, you know, and, and adding these practices, our lives truly change. Yeah. It's, it's magnificent. It's beautiful. So as we wrap this up, let's say a, a, a guy in the future stumbles upon this little conversation, because like I said, I'm going to share it on YouTube and a few other places what's what's one thing what's one thing that some uh, let's say a young man or middle-aged man finds this what's uh, what's one thing you can leave them with that will give them some action they can take some some framework that they, that this conversation could be the most impactful for for a, a man who stumbles upon this conversation i would say to really understand that everything happens from inside out the story that you've been told that someone else is going to come and do it for you is not a real story. And that means that you get to become whoever you want. That means that you get to discover who you are over and over and over again and literally create yourself over and over and over again. And it's so incredibly empowering to know that. You know, I have free practices for pyramid breath. If guys want to get into it, gals want to get into it on my Instagram. Um, there are a multitude of tools in the world that we have access to now, free tools that I would just say, get curious instead of being afraid of the change because our identity, part of our identity will also always say, don't do it, don't do it. 
Like, why would you change? You're already good. You know, don't go towards that thing that's scary, but let fear be a compass pointing you in the direction that you need to go. And that, that fear really is just uh, another way for uh, describe it as a liveness, an opportunity. There's a gift there waiting for you. It's literally like, think of it as a magnet to go towards it. Unless you're in mortal danger, like yeah. meet that moment because taking that step towards it, you're doing something extraordinary mm. and, and, and you can really truly change your life and take control of your life, so to say, and, and shift your life into what you want it to be. Yeah. And I love that you said, take action, like take steps. Like you can't think your way into a transformation or in out of your problem. You actually have to just go out, go for, go for a walk, go to the gym, go, go somewhere like that. Take some action yeah. or go do one of the free breath work programs or your, your North star <laughs> program on your life. Something, something that's going to give you some impact and like, cause if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to get the same results. Yeah. Yeah, if you want a different life, you actually have to do things that are different. Yeah. And, and you I, and I have put ourselves through many different pro programs and teachers and courses. And you're off to you're you guys are heading to Bali to do something really exciting with Tantra as well. So yeah. I think we'll I think we'll leave it here, Johan. And if people want to check out your North Star program, it happens. It's only two days to join. Just yep. go go to right it's probably easiest if you're watching if you're watching this in the future go to is it how do they get what's the actual website so right now if you go to pyramidbreath.com pyramidbreath.com there's a link there linking okay. you to the to the program uh okay. you can always go to my you know at herb johan on instagram as well yeah. and um and yeah guys like and and gals like it's such an honor thank you paul for having yeah. me on i love you dearly i'm so grateful for you i'm so excited to keep evolving yeah. to keep learning together and then also keep sharing these tools and practices awarenesses with the world so that we yeah. can create an impact when we all collaborate in raising the vibration of this planet and celebrating men and masculinity so that and femininity it doesn't have to be one or the other. It can and should be both. We both want it so bad. You know, it's like if an empowered person is a person who's sexy and, and fun to be around and like acknowledge each other, gratitude. There's just so many tools, guys. There's just so many tools available to create this. We just gotta do it. That's right. That's right. Well, I love you, brother. Thank you. I love so you too, much. brother. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Have a beautiful day. You look extra handsome. Yeah, uh, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I at least have the hat <laughs> and my sweater on. You let's, know? let's do this again. I, I think like, cause you know, I really want, I really want to be of service to men. I'm realizing, you know, a lot of, because of the movies that I've done, a lot of my followers are women, but there's a, there is a percentage of men that do watch my channel. Um, and I want them to have some reflection that I had, like just somebody to be like, here, this is how awesome you are. And this is also the areas that you, you don't need to keep pretending in, like some uh, actual reflection. And so, yeah. so let's do another one of these. Um, we could just do a little, because we talked about authentic relating. The self mastery is another piece and sexual mastery is another piece. And I That's feel a like big one. those are big, those are big pillars. So maybe, Maybe we pop yeah. on and we, we jump into this yeah. a little bit. So I wouldn't be surprised by if one day we're actually going to do a, a like a men's retreat or something together, you know, with our combined combined uh, knowledge and wisdom and, and, and experience. It'd be really dope to, to do something like that. So, I, I um, agree. yeah, man, here's the better and better forever and ever, Thank brother. You. Thank you so much. I yeah. love you deeply. Love you. Give that uh, baby Austin a kiss for me and you're a beautiful yeah. wife and and also give Ollie a nice hug and, and we'll talk soon. Okay, Just give a big kiss to your beautiful wife for me too. Okay. I shall. Bye. All right. I love you. Bye. Bye. Go follow Johan, everybody. Bye. <laughs>